popping on with this short hamstring back of the thigh tutorial. So hamstrings, this is the pelvis, this is the back of the pelvis. Hamstrings attach to this outer border here of the sit bones. So they attach here, we've got this inner border, this would be the pubic bone, and then this outer border. So hamstrings attach here and then run down the back of the thighs and attach onto this side of the knee joint onto the shin bone, onto the tibia and the fibula. So they cross the knee joint. And some will say the hip, but hip is, leg bone's gonna be here, so this is hip. So they actually attach below the hip joint and onto the pelvis. So they help to be able to move each ilium. Something cool though about the hamstrings is sometimes some of us have shorter hamstrings than others and that doesn't mean they're weak or they need to be stretched, but we can learn how to move in a way that doesn't have the hamstrings reflexively engage. Okay, so take for instance something like um, this pose here. So my other leg straight, it'll be cued, we bring this leg up and then we push this out. Now because I'm starting to move the tibia back, I'm going to be putting, pulling on the hamstring which attaches to the sit bone. So my pelvis is going to need to, this ilium is going to need to, you know, the pelvis is going to need to posteriorly tuck. If I take it this way, as I start to straighten the knee, I'm putting a lot of tension into the hamstring. So this last week, something I've been playing with in terms of the hamstrings, and it feels very different, this becomes especially important for those of us with any kind of sensitivity around those hamstring insertion points on our sit bones is if I get my glutes into a lengthened position. So if I squat down, okay, so I've lengthened out these glutes. Now what I'm going to play with is starting to stand up, but I'm standing up still keeping some slack on those hamstrings until I get to my final pose. And then I don't run into the stretch reflex being triggered in the hamstring. So all of a sudden I can get a different load into the hamstring tissue than if I try to come here and extend out that leg where all that happens is my hamstring is like, ah, tension, tension, tension. And it's fighting, contracting against the direction I'm moving. So play with this with me. Try that pose just on its own leg standing. You know, you're in Tadasa, you're moving one knee to the chest. You're gonna hold on to that big toe and you're going to extend that leg out. And you'll get to maybe where there's like some shakes, you'll feel where you hit your end range. Then we're gonna play with getting squatted. Maybe we wave the feet a little bit or we just squat down and get a hold of that toe and then start to bring it up, keeping you know squatted in both the legs a little bit and then straightening them out at the same time. Totally different input into the back of the thigh stuff. So we could also look at this in a seated forward fold, which has been my nemesis forever. So maybe I need to get squatted into that seated forward fold. I'm gonna put this in so I can just slide my foot on the ground. And then I'm going to, oh, actually, I'm going to start to fold both legs out in this seated forward fold. So I'm here, I'm squatted, and then I'm going to take both these out. And all of a sudden, very different sensation 
in my low back and the back of my thighs, then if I go here and try to put input into the hamstrings by say, um, moving my pelvis and folding forward, where the tension is, is very different. So I'm gonna say relax, soften the belly, get into this kind of squatted position, and then I'm gonna stay reaching as I lengthen the legs out, and here is that seated forward fold, which I would never get into going from here to here. Like I run out of room. So I, I want you to start to think of kind of places with those hamstrings where you can start to think of like getting into a lengthened glute position, a, a squat position, a relaxed belly position, and then start to extend out the hamstring. I'm gonna leave you with one more kind of place to explore this in your own body where we don't trigger that stretch reflex in the hamstring. Um, and that is this guy. Then fold my yoga mat up. a knee and then a foot. So I'm in this half lunge position. Now I'm going to sit back, get squatted, so I get some length in those glutes. Now from here I'm going to start to extend out that leg and pull back in. Sit down, get some length in those glutes. Think of the heel kind of scooping like the arcs of things, and where you come into tension in that hamstring will become very different than if you're up here and trying to slide out. Like It's like I go there and that's it, okay? So get a little squatted, and then think of the arcs, like the heel, the lower leg is arcing, the toes are arcing, I'm getting here, I'm getting load into that hamstring, but I'm getting load in it at a very different length than if I am not triggering that stretch reflex, than if I try to come into it from here and slide out. It's like, yeah, okay, that's it. So, um, something to think about, something to play with, and we're gonna work with this hamstring, um, you know, compliance and building strength from this place where we don't trigger the stretch reflex in the hamstring quite so early in our August classes. Um, once you've done a few reps of the hamstrings that other way, on one side, just come to standing and feel, and it will feel like one leg is longer, like you can um, just notice what you notice. And I'd love to hear what it is you notice. Okay, bye for now.